Did you know that we can improve our well-being in the modern world if we have a better comprehension of how mathematics surrounds the decisions that we make? Keep watching and I'll explain how understanding mathematical principles can be a practical tool to make sense of our complex lives, especially as we evolve to incorporate more algorithms and big data applications into our everyday society. My name is Bhavan and in this episode of Books in 5, we review The Maths of Life and Death by Kit Yates. We trust Kit because he is currently a senior lecturer in the Department of Mathematical Sciences and he is the co-director of the Center for Mathematical Biology at the University of Bath. This book pulls back the curtain on seemingly scary math concepts to show how we can improve our life if we appreciate the basic patterns that rule the physical world and the human civilizations we have developed over the centuries. By focusing on seven basic math fundamentals, the author argues that we will be better off if we can bring more depth and clarity to our knowledge of the models we use to shape our thoughts and our actions. Exponentiality is when something increases or decreases in proportion to its current size, which results in growth that is slow to start off with, but then ramps up to an extreme degree as time moves forward. The book provides numerous examples, but the most relevant to our current economy is the interest that accrues on deposits in bank accounts, which is it compounded the longer it is held, causing it to multiply at a rising rate. Math is the foundation of the health technology revolution we have experienced over the past few decades, but we should be careful when we automatically believe the tests that we do at home or at the clinic. Whether through finding better measures to calculate a person's physical health or reducing the number of false alarms for tests, utilizing math can help us better understand our bodies and how we can improve them. We use math in our law and criminal justice systems every day to determine innocent or guilt based on probabilities and statistics. The book demonstrates how math is misused by experts, whether to accidentally confuse juries through sweeping generalizations or when they exploit our misunderstandings of large numbers and percentages to ensure a specific verdict. Members of the media use math to put forward alarms about the likelihood of events, which serves to persuade our minds and change our behavior. The author picks apart the many spurious claims of data used by popular influencers that are supposedly backed up by math to prove the biases inherent in the individuals and the corporations that use them. Generally speaking, whenever math or statistics is used in the media, it is done so to push a self-interested business or political agenda. Throughout the globe, we use the decimal place value system in base 10 to provide a structure to our number system. This gives us the ability to count up and down, but it can be easy to make accidental mistakes that end up with disastrous consequences. The book showcases how we are surrounded by number systems in different bases. Think of time that is measured in units of 60, or the imperial system that is measured in units of 12, as our human history has developed with a great deal of diversity. Our lives have become increasingly ordered and dominated by math because of advances in technology over the past century. Governed by artificial intelligence, our interactions are moving online, but that does not mean we always end up with the ideal outcome. The author provides us with the means to consider how math could be prejudiced when we only focus on optimization. Instead, we should concentrate our efforts on fixing the biases inherent in algorithms, which would allow us to save time, energy, money, and even lives. The book concludes with a particularly timely chapter describing the necessity of mathematical modeling as used by scientists, researchers, and doctors in the fight against infectious diseases. An understanding of math allows public health professionals to expertly forecast how viruses will spread, which gives us a degree of certainty when developing policies to ensure that we stay safe. If only we would listen. Our lives are suffused by mathematics, as evidenced by the use of numbers to save us during this current pandemic. We would be much better off when we have a better understanding of how math shapes our world.